today. It's Memorial Day weekend. We start our ceremonies here at the Joseph J. Michener Square. Our local VFW post is named after Joseph J. Michener, for those of you who don't know. He was a, a resident of the town here. Uh, Private Michener served down in the Philippines and was captured during the Bataan Death March. On May 8, 1944, was MIA and presumed dead. At this time, I'd like to take a moment of silence in remembrance of Joseph J. Michener.
Joining us here at Carter Square, Michael Carter served during World War I, also known as the World War. This square is here to commemorate those who gave their lives during World War I. Now let's please stand and bow our heads to commemorate those who gave, our, gave their lives.
Joshua Cato, former librarian, local historian, will re read the Gettysburg Address. This monument commemorates those that paid the ultimate sacrifice during the Civil War. At this time, we will commemorate their loss by reading the Gettysburg Address. Please remain standing. Fort Gordon, seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can not wow. endure. We are met in a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a finding resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation may live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But, in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little know, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is worth living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task of remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we hear how to resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from this earth. Thank you. Roger and Oz, what brings you here today? Honor the dead. Carry on.
High School Marching Band.
Every year, the VFW Post offers a scholarship, Patriot's Pen. One recipient from the Douglas Senior class receives a scholarship. Uh, every, I'm sorry, every, every, everybody submits an essay and we um, anonymously pick uh, one of these, one of these um, people. Uh, this year's winner is Jamie Kite. And I'd like to invite her to the microphone and read her speech. So I was told to write an essay about veterans and their importance in the past, present, and future. So I'm just going to read it now. Thank you. The word veteran is thrown around as if its meaning is ambiguous and unknown. Many people know and mention that veterans are important, but how many of them could give a statement of why these people hold such significance? Veterans are, and always will be, a defining part of American history, along with teaching about the future. Without veterans who fought for us, we may have never known the real meaning of freedom or democracy. It is crucial to keep these ideals of these veterans in mind in the future, to ensure we never lose sight of where our country came from and where it can progress to in the future. Veterans are selfless people who give their own lives meaning through making others' lives easier and worth living. The people who drop everything to fight for America are people who deserve endless praise and recognition. If citizens did not step up and put up a fight in World War II, maybe our nation would have been destroyed. If some Americans did not sacrifice a safe, comfortable, clean bed in the U.S. for an uncomfortable, damp sleeping bag in a foreign land such as Afghanistan, we would not have the reassur reassurance of safety we do back in America. Some people need to miss a Christmas so that the rest of us can enjoy all of our holidays safely and comfortably, knowing others are out there on the battlefield. Some families do not have the luxury of seeing their loved ones return home from the war. For these families, we must value the important, the important impact that veterans make. When looking into the future, veterans are just as significant. Soldiers need to realize how much value Americans place on its veterans so that they are motivated to fight and feel as though they are making a difference. If we realize the ways veterans have shaped our country in the past, there will be endless hope for a safe, fair, and successful America in the future. Establishing the importance of veterans will give them a firm place in society and fill them, or at least their families, with the pride they deserve to feel. Not everyone has the courage to give up everything for their country. Those that do must be held high up on a pedestal much higher than movie stars or professional singers. Those singers can live the life they do as a result of veterans' hard work and fearless fighting. America's history has shown, fighting f has shown how fighting for freedom really pays off and ends in a rewarding product. This must be kept in mind in future years so that the word veteran is not thrown around as if devoid of meaning. The people who really deserve to be walking the red carpet are American veterans. Thank you. I'd like to invite Ron Tatro to say a few words. He's our local area uh, veteran service officer. Correct me if I got that wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We're gathered here today to remember our, our brothers and sisters that paid the ultimate sacrifice. This is what's called Murphy. If you don't know what Murphy is, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. We're gathered here today to remember those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. We're gathered here today to pay respects to those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. I have the distinct honor of representing every veteran from the towns of Douglas, Uxbridge, Northbridge, and Sutton. I've also had the distinct honor of serving with those at the tip of the spear within the special operations community. This weekend, while we are celebrating with our families and enjoying our cookouts, 
I will never forget those, my brothers, who sacrificed within the special operations community. Specifically, during my last tour in Afghanistan on August 6, 2011, Mission Extortion 17 carried Naval SEAL operators, Army operators, and Air Force operators along with our brothers from the Afghan Special Operations community. On that day, that helicopter was shot down. 22 Navy SEALs paid the ultimate sacrifice. Eight Air Force Special Operators paid the ultimate sacrifice. One Army Special Operations K-9 paid the ultimate sacrifice. And eight Afghan Special Operators paid the ultimate sacrifice. So this weekend, while we're celebrating with our friends and family, never forget those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. This monument, this hallowed ground, represents 14 men from this town who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Each one of these trees you see here represents a person commemorated on that stone right there. 14 men who paid the ultimate sacrifice in World War II. So as you look at this ground, as you look at these trees, let us never forget, never forget those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Again, thank you for spending your time with us today, and I will now turn it over to the commander, David DeLuca. Sergeant at Arms, what brings you here today? To honor the dead. Carry on. Detail. Out. Head. Cut. Hold! Hold! Ready! Hey! Hold! Hold! Freeze it! Our ceremonies today. 
We're now going to uh, move our festivities down to the Senior Center slash VFW. I'd like to welcome you all to join us down there for refreshments. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have a good weekend with friends and families. Thank you.